Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Today we are in the city of Crater Lake and we are going to be working on our new government area. I think we're going to be finishing it today and then we are also going to be working on a transit hub. And so before we jump in, I did want to go over a few things that I did in between episodes. All right, and so as you can see, I put these uh, row lights right here. They're all spotlights. I just used the prop line tool with a spacing of probably about 10 to put them down. Initially, I was going to put them right next to each other, but then these little bumps uh, were just a little more pronounced. I felt like it just didn't look as good. And so I, uh, I added these. I think it looks great. It's actually one of the main reasons I put rocks in here so that it would reflect the light. Um, I think it's a really good addition to the city. And then I went ahead and put accent lights around our archives building. I just went ahead and put them in the cracks and I put some on the roof as well. And then I went ahead and put some in our little city hall as well, um, just to fill in some of the spaces. I put them on the front side to accentuate the columns and then I put them in the middle and then last but not least I put them on our war memorial put them all on the front side and then I uh, put them around the tower and then I put them on this side as well and so now I mean this is like a beacon for our whole city I really think it looks great oh and um I put it around the monument as well forgot I just did um four around here to uh, kind of light it up a little bit um because i mean these would be huge monuments for the city so we would want to see them from pretty far away and so you can definitely see that war memorial from way back there and so and so now let's go ahead and jump right in all right so what we are going to be working on today is adding a transit hub right here and then i want to add in a few more buildings here i have the u.s capital that i finally unlocked i had to get the 50 percent unemployment and anybody who's watched my last series knows that we already did that and it was actually part of an episode. It's really interesting. If you're interested in checking out, you know, hunting down unique buildings, I'll go ahead and put the video link in the description. But then I also want to add in the Lincoln Memorial and then a couple hotels over here. And then I think we're going to do something fun with some patterns. And then I think we're going to add in the academic library right here. And then also another unique building. We're definitely placing a lot of them today. We're going to do the transport tower and then we are going to do a monorail bus tram hub i think it's going to be fantastic and so the first thing we're going to do is jump into our level terrain tool we're going to increase the size just a little bit and so what i want this to be is just wide enough on the outside to fit about one row of zoning probably just one side and then enough over here to be able to do like a hotel and then um a nice little area for people to walk around and kind of enjoy themselves and maybe enjoy the view as well because that would really be one of the big points of going here um, right now I mean it's a huge valley which would be really pretty but then as the city expands you're going to be able to overlook the city here and so it's going to be really cool and so um, one of the things we do need to do is jump in here I'm going to jump into the picker mod I'm going to grab these roads and I'm going to force tunnel piece and what that does is it's just going to allow me to bring out this ledge up here a little bit further. And so we will right click up there and we'll come up over here. And I want to make sure I don't go too wide here. I really don't want to create a huge space. And I don't want the the key wall actually butting up against the, the freeway down there. I would really still like to keep like a natural kind of hillside here. So I think we'll actually go in here and probably create like some little ledges and stuff just to create some more interest in here. And then we will go into the soften terrain tool and kind of just mess with it a little bit to make it look like it's more of a natural terrain. And so we do need to jump into the bulldoze tool and bring this back. And then we are going to get rid of these road segments. We're going to get rid of all these trees right here. And the reason for that is because we need a connection. I don't want just one connection so that everybody has to kind of turn around. I would rather there be, there be through access, especially since a hotel is going to be back here. I think it would be pretty important. And so I think that's good right there. I'm going to jump into the move it mod though and just level this out so that we don't have some weird uh, hill going down. And then we are going to jump into the key walls now. And I think I'm just going to use the simple seawall with the fence. Yeah, that's the one that's right here. And so what I think we're going to do is curve this around. So I think we will grab this and we'll go like right there. And so the idea is, is that we're going to have the freeway come down this way. And I would prefer the key wall to kind of match the freeway. I think it's going to look a lot better if we can capture that. So we're going to jump into the freeform tool. We're going to come down here and then we are going to curve this around. Let's go ahead and back out just so that we can see if we're getting a nice clean angle or not. So then we will go straight a little bit. 
actually we don't even need to go straight so we will come up like right here and then we will be begin to curve it around we'll go like right there and then what we're gonna do is bring this out we're gonna kind of go straight with this for a little while because I want to create enough space to be able to put in our capital building and still kind of play around with this area I don't want to just box everything in and so now what we're going to do is jump into the move it mod. We're going to grab this end node and I'm going to control H right there. And what that does is it just uh, captures the height that I want. And then we're going to do the same thing over here, grab that node and then control H right there. And then we're going to jump into the network multi tool and we're going to go to slope mode. We're going to grab those two nodes that we had adjusted the height on already. And if it's already kind of giving you some issues, just choose a point in the middle and then we're going to hit enter. And what that's going to do is level out the entire thing based off of those two nodes. And this is kind of what I was talking about with that whole hillside. I think this just looks really good. It's like, it's like the key wall is not built all the way down. It's just kind of built on top of the hill. And so I think that's going to look good. And I think this space right here actually came out pretty well. It's a little bit bigger than what I was initially planning, but I think it is going to work for our purpose. And so now I'm just going to clean this up real quick. Nice, and so now we have a nice clean look over here and it allows us, I mean, look at that. I really think this is a cool looking plateau right here, especially once we get this freeway in, we're gonna have to do a junction right here. And so uh, we'll have like some flyovers going through here. I think it's gonna look really cool. And so now let's jump back into our road and let's figure out what we're gonna do with this. So I would prefer to kind of follow the key wall down here. And then what we're gonna do is actually turn it. And then we are going to bring it up near the key wall up here. And the reason for that is it's just going to help us create a nice little space. And so I'm going to keep the same amount of spacing from this key wall pretty much all the way around until we find a good point for us to break away from it. So I think we'll go right there. And then what we're going to do is put the academic library right here. But I would like this to land somewhere like right next to it. So let's go ahead and look at that first. So I think it's a pretty big building. We're going to place this. I want a little bit of space on that one side. I don't want it like right on it. So I think like right there is probably good. And then we'll jump back into our road. We will come up over here and I don't want this to necessarily be right next to that. Let's go ahead and go straight and then let's turn on anarchy. Yeah, you know what? I think that is perfect. That looks pretty good. I like it. And then I, li I like that we kind of created a couple spaces right here. And so the idea is we're going to do two hotels. And then we will end up doing walking paths and then we're going to do some high density commercial around the outside. And so we are going to jump in to find it and we're going to look up a hotel and it is actually a part of one of the content creator packs. Yeah, this resort hotel, it's a part of the modern Japan content creator pack. And we are going to place this like right there. Yeah, look at that. That just looks fantastic. It does look like we're clipping the edges a little bit. So I'm just going to bring it back. I would prefer it clip the key wall. I think this right there looks pretty good. And uh, we have the awning kind of protruding a little bit on the on the key wall, but it looks good. And so I do want to do another hotel on this other side. So we are going to use, I believe I downloaded a few. Yeah, I have these wellness hotel and then the spa and hotel. And this one is by Thomas 13 TO. And then this one is Thomas 13 TO as well. And I'm going to go ahead and add these to the to my asset collection on Steam. So if you're interested in checking that out, go ahead and click on the link in the description. So we're gonna come up right here and then what I'm gonna do is do that long one. I feel like that's just gonna look fantastic. And you know what, we might even be able to do two of them. What I can do is convert it to a PO and then what I'm gonna do is just use it to extend this a little bit more. Um, even though it's no longer gonna function, I feel like this is just gonna be a nice addition for the area. So if we come up right here, I just want to wind it up. Yeah, you know what? I think that looks fantastic. And we are going to fill it in with concrete, so it's not a huge concern that it is missing its base. I think I did do it backwards, though. Mm, I did. So I'm going to go ahead and flip that around real quick. Nice. And then we will just jump into a Surface Painter. We will kind of fill in these little spaces. We want it to be surrounded. Just because, I mean, these would be a part of the hotel, and so it would be fair to assume that there would be walking areas, and we're going to end up putting in some little shops and stuff, and I think it's going to look really cool. I um, actually already really like that. It does look like we're missing a couple benches and then a recycle bin, so I think I'm just going to add those real quick. Nice. Doesn't look like I got the same recycle bin, but this one's like a little trash can. I think it looks fantastic. I even got the little benches in. 
looks really good. All right, and so I'm looking at this space right here, and I think we are going to make a small parking lot. Nothing crazy. We already have a little bit of parking, so I think what we'll do is we'll literally just go like this, and then I'm going to jump into the Move It mod, and I'm going to extend this out just a little bit, and I'm going to bring it right next to that key wall. And then I'm going to grab our drive road and I'm going to attach it up right there. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. And so now we have just a little bit more parking, not a lot, but I think enough. And so I'm going to grab these nodes and level them out just so that we don't get any weird clipping issues. And then what I want to do is just level that up with that. And so we will then level that out and I'm going to go ahead and put in some parking spaces real quick. All right, and there we go. So we have a little bit of a parking lot going. I think that is great. And so I think for over here, we will add in another parking lot. I think we're going to do the same kind, but we will just make it a little bit bigger. Not a whole lot, just enough though. Especially since this area doesn't have parking of its own, I feel like it'd be so important. So I'm going to place those down. And then what I'm going to do is jump into our entrance road and we're going to come down here connect that up and then what i want to do is grab all of our nodes hold shift and just bring this a little bit closer so that we can kind of make it seem like it's connected to that i'm going to go ahead and turn on snapping on the movie mod so that i can stretch this out and then i'm going to jump into our parking spaces and just kind of fill these up real quick nice there we go and so now we have two pretty decently sized parking lots this one's got a lot of parking in it and so having the smaller one isn't the end of the world then it kind of leaves some room for us to do some landscaping and then um, kind of decorate it up a little bit. And so for this area around it, we are going to do high density commercial. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go ahead and just paint it all in. And then we are going to come back and kind of clean it up with, with paths and then anything else that we may want to add to this area. And so I'm going to jump into a path now. We're going to go to the gravel path since it has our nice volcanic look. We're going to go turn off snapping and I want this to mirror the road so we can get a nice symmetry out of this. So we're going to go like this. We're going to come up here, go like this. And what I'm doing is trying to just find the spaces in the, in the zoning. So I don't ruin all the zoning, but then it also allows me to kind of use the zoning as guides so that I know which direction I should be going in. So what I'm going for here is just a really cool symmetry look. Yeah, nice. Look at that. It actually looks really good and you can kind of see it um, wraps around and it just creates a nice, nice look. I think we're going to place the Lincoln Memorial right here and then I want to do the U.S. Capitol right there. And so before we place the Lincoln Memorial, let's go ahead and place the Capitol building just so we can see what we're working with. It's kind of a big building. Okay, so we are going to jump into a pedestrian road, and I'm going to go to this zonable pedestrian paved road. And what I'm going to do is go four units out. I want to hit snapping. So I'm going to go four units out, and then what I'm going to do is go up probably about, we'll say nine units, and we'll go out four units again. And then what we're going to do is copy that on this side. So we're going to go out four units, and then we're going to come up, I think it was nine, yeah. Then we'll go out four units again, and then we will connect that up just to make sure we are at the right level. Then we're going to jump into the network multi-tool. We're going to go to create curved mode. We're going to grab both of these nodes. We're going to hit enter. And what that does is just creates a nice perfect, perfect curve on there. So we don't have to worry about trying to draw it in. It really is um, one of the best mods out there. And so I'm going to go ahead and delete these. And what I want to do is create another pond in here. It's so one of the things I remember from the Capitol building is it just having a really nice grounds area. Um, there was two roundabouts. Uh, there's a lot of security and a ton of parking as well, but it's just a really cool building to see. If you've never been to Washington, D.C., it's definitely worth it. And so we are going to jump into the la landscape tool. We're going to go to shift terrain. I'm going to go ahead and drop it into the ground, and I'm not going to go crazy with this one. We're just going to go about there, and then what we're going to do is go ahead and bring it all the way out. So then we will jump in here and go back to our new key walls, the stone key wall fence decorated. And so now we are going to just connect these up. And then what I'm going to do is jump into the move it mod. I'm going to grab our edges. I'm going to turn off snapping so we don't get that weird bouncing. I'm going to go like that, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And go like this and then what i'm going to do is jump into the network multi-tool and go to this invert segment oh it looks like that one flipped we're going to flip this one uh, it doesn't want to 
So we need to uh, fill in the ground on this side in order for it to flip. If it doesn't flip, it's because it it doesn't read it as an appropriate flip. It took me a little while to figure that out. I was like, why does it only work sometimes? But it's because um, if it doesn't work, it, it reads it as like a mistake, like it can't be done. So now what we want to do is go ahead and grab all this stuff. So I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to select it all. I'm going to go ahead and choose a height and we're going to control H right there. Yeah, look at that. Cleaned up the road a little bit. I think that looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and move, jump into the move it mod now, and I want to stretch these out to be a little more curved, just so we can kind of match that road a little bit. If you're using regular key balls, then you tend to get a little more of a, of a regular curve, but with these ones, you can actually do squares, which I actually really like, but when you're trying to do something like this, it's not that great. So I'm gonna grab all these nodes, and I'm going to bring them down I'm going to grab this one now that it's in line. We're going to go about like right there. You know what? That actually looks really good. I'm going to grab these though, and I'm going to stretch this out to the end. Nice. There we go. And so let's jump in here now and clean up our middle section before we drop any water in there. So we'll go like this. You know what? That's probably good right there. And so we will jump into water sources, go like this, drop this down just a little bit. And then we will make sure our, our mouse is in the middle. So you always want it to have be paused first. And so we will drop this down. I feel like that's probably good right there. Yeah. And then we will let it play out now. It shouldn't really flood too much. Normally whenever you have just one water source, it doesn't get too crazy, but we might get a little flooding. And so let's go ahead and jump into our capital building now. So, and let's place this down. And I kind of want it to be in the middle. So three, four, five, four, three. It looks like we're off a little bit. So let's go ahead and look at it. And we are just going to shift it a little bit to the right. Yeah, I think that looks great right there. I really like this building. I think this is just a fantastic building. And it is by Tobsey. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the in the collection as well. And I really like that we got it. Really like that we got it on this key wall too. Uh, initially, I didn't have it this close to the key wall, but now after looking at it, I just think this is such a cool little view. And so I think it is fantastic. And so now that allows us to start looking at where we're gonna do our Lincoln Memorial. And I think I'm going to delete these. I'm gonna jump in here. Yeah, here we go. So Lincoln Memorial. And let's go ahead and place it down so that we can move it around and see what we're working with. So I think I'm going to bring this key wall out just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and pause because I want there to be just a little more space right here. And I thought that I had left enough, but after placing those buildings down, I realized that we were just a little too far in. So what we're going to do is bring this straight and then we will begin to curve it. Yeah, you know what? That's perfect. And it actually looks pretty good too looks like maybe this is off a little bit i'm gonna jump into the move it bond though and see if we are i don't think we are but and so now what that does is allows us to fit this in a little bit better it was gonna be like really crammed in there and with it being such a nice memorial it'd be fair to assume that they would build out a nice area we do need to jump in here though go to the slope tool and level this out a little bit it looks like that key wall got pressed down just a little bit not a lot but enough to be a problem so we're going to level out our terrain now. And now we should have enough space to, yeah, look at this. Place this in here and have it look really good. And so I'm gonna turn that. I'm gonna come up like right here. Yeah, you know what? I think that looks fantastic right there. Nice. And so let's go ahead and level this, make sure that it's level because it looks like we're getting a little bit of a tear back here. I don't know why either. Are we like in the ground? I think it might be because we're so close to that key wall. Oh, there you go. It might just be the building for some reason. And so now we will jump back into paths and let's go ahead and clean up our paths that we messed up. And then what we'll do is we will do a couple paths that actually terminate at the building, but appear as though maybe uh, the pattern is continued. And then we will jump into a pedestrian road and we will do the gravel road so that we can capture that same kind of look that we're going for here. So I think if we go like right there, perfect. Pretty sure that connected up. I wanna make sure though. Yeah, it did. And so now let's jump back in to our paths and just kind of finish this real quick. So we're gonna go gravel. I think we can do, let's go ahead and do paths off of this. So we're gonna do one path right here cause we're still gonna do a fence around this too. 
And then what I think we're going to do is kind of the same thing that we did with the other sections. We're going to go off around it kind of in a spiral. Nice. Look at that. I actually really like that. Yeah, that looks fantastic. And so let's go ahead and do it on this side as well. We're going to go like right about there. And then let's go ahead and figure out. I think we're going to put something else here. I was thinking about the intelligence agency. And so I think we're going to do some fences real quick just so we can so we don't forget them. But then we can also kind of block this off because this would be really important. So we'll go like that and then we will come up over here and connect that up as well. Nice. I really like that. I think that is fantastic. And so I'm going to go ahead and do water pipes real quick since we were playing with it unpaused. And I would really like these buildings to grow in. Nice. Got water pipes in. And so now we should be grown in. I do want to pause real quick though and paint this as a district because I really want this to be a leisure district. I want to get some hotels and like bars and stuff back here, especially since the hotels are right there and it's got the great view. It would be fair to assume that this would all be a leisure. And I think we forgot to actually paint this in as a dish. We did. Nice. And so I went ahead and uh, named it Crater Lake Capital. And if anybody has any fun, like volcano or rock related names, um, we definitely have a lot of fun names in the city, but uh, we haven't really been naming a whole lot recently. And so I want to try to get back into that. I know how fun it is for everybody to kind of be involved in everything. And so um, I do want to place down one more unique building over here that I'd completely forgotten. And it is the intelligence agency. So we are going to go, oh man, of course I pressed one letter. So we're going to grab this. We're going to place it down here, but I want to do, I think I'm going to place it and then we are going to move it back. So we're going to keep it paused real quick. We're going to go like this. And then what I want to do is create a nice space, but also create a guard post entrance. So we are going to grab those. I don't know why the ground keeps messing up, but we're going to come in here. We're going to go to a two unit road. We're going to come back here. We're going to turn it. And we'll go like right there. I think that should be good. Yeah, that's actually perfect. And so I got a few little security posts. Um, one of them actually does have an arm, which I think is fantastic, but it doesn't move. And so it's kind of weird, but it still um, kind of cleans up the area a little bit. There's no way to get it to move in this game. So I'm going to go like this. And then what I'm going to do is place another one on this side. So this would just be full controlled access in and out. So like as you leave, you would still be checked to make sure that you weren't taking anything with you or whatever. Um, and then we are going to do a. We're going to do the plane, the airplane fence all the way around since it's kind of like a barbed wire fence. This would be, I mean, since it's an intelligence agency, I would assume that this would be pretty heavily guarded. All right. And there we go. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do some young lindens around the outside real quick, just to kind of clean it up. I don't think we're going to do heavy spacing but maybe we will you know what that actually looks pretty good and that is on the heavier side but it just makes it a little more secluded nice there we go you know what i actually think that looks really good i like this and uh, we are going to change the police cars that come out of here to the little lamborghinis i think that's gonna look fantastic and so i did get a couple little jets for this fountain i completely got a little sidetracked there but we're gonna do jets and then Let's go ahead and do some of the bigger ones in here. I think we're going to just do a row. Yeah, I think this will be good right there. Nice. And they're just constantly on, and so they do function, which I think is fantastic. This would just be a nice um, entrance for this area, a nice row of jets. And so kids could come and kind of check them out or watch them. I'm going to go ahead and do some landscaping i'm gonna go and put bushes in here and then i think i'm going to paint this all as a park district and then what we're gonna do is put in some trees in here and just create some nice spaces probably use some gazebos and just clean it up a little bit and so i will be right back with you all right and there we go i think it looks pretty good i um like i said i put the bushes around the paths and then i went ahead and just sprinkled in some of these trees that have a little color and then i did some live oaks and did it all the way around. I, I really like how it looks. I did end up putting in the tourism specialization for this district. And then for this key wall section, I just did foliage with these large palm trees. And I really like the look of it. I went ahead and put in some, some planters over here. I'm not really sure how this looks, uh, but I wanted to kind of fill in the space a little bit, create some walking areas. Um, I think this may create a little bit of clutter. 
I think maybe if we get rid of those and then just do these ones along the wall, it may look a little better. I was kind of going back and forth with it, but I think because these ones are already all lined up, we could just move these around and then have them look a little better. That's kind of one of the things like whenever you're designing out areas, it's really just about trying things out and then going back and deleting them if you decide you don't like them. Um, but I think this whole area turned out really well. I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. And you know what? I actually like that. I put the Paradox Plaza back here with some more of those little planters. And then I did end up putting in some of these little seated planters with the little bench and everything around the building. And I really like it. I think we are going to end up doing the same thing as right here. We did um, high density residential with um, some shops. I think we're going to end up copying that right here. And then um, I really like it. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this, um, this section. We're going to move on to our little transit hub because we definitely need to get this done. And so the idea is for us to do a tram bus monorail station here. I'm going to begin by getting rid of these and I'm going to show you guys in just a second why. And so we actually can just use the picker mode. We will choose this road. We will go straight one square and we're going to turn on snapping. We're going to go up to 30. We're going to go to unmodded. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Go over here, go one square out, go up to 30, and then we're going to create a bridge. And the reason we're going to do this is because it's going to allow us to have the tram go underneath. And I really feel like it's going to be nice for the tram not to have to cross over the road and going to make it a little bit safer too. And so I think it's going to be a good, uh, good idea for this area. And so we are now going to jump into this monorail bus hub. And I want to kind of place this a little bit like right there yeah there you go and so what i'm thinking is we're going to put the transport tower with probably a parking garage and then we are going to do tram hubs right here next to the monorail station and then i think on the next episode i think on the next episode we are going to design out a whole monorail station it's actually going to be a huge episode we are going to be redeveloping a whole area and so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it and we are going to now jump into a tram road and I want to use the LRT ones because these give us those nice tram stations. And so I'm going to come up here and then I'm going to come up here and then I'm going to go out by, we'll say three. Uh, you know what? We'll go four out. So we'll come back in here, go four units out, and then we will come up again. And then we're going to come out and go four units out. We're going to come up again. This is going to have six bays, which honestly may be a little much. But because it is our downtown, one of our, uh, actually our main downtown, um, I feel like it's going to be good for the area. And so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and connect these up. And I am using a special asphalt tram track that allows the trams to kind of have this black color rather than the concrete. It's not um, super realistic. Most tram tracks, unless it's an actual road, is just concrete. But um, I like the look of it. It's, it's black and so I think it just looks a little cooler. And so we're going to jump into a four unit road and we're going to go to the one without decorations. We're going to go like this and we are just going to connect this up right there. And then we are going to do the same thing on this side. And I think we could either do a roundabout or we could just leave it like that. I think like that's good. And you know, it's so, so funny. We actually do need to do a tram road for this. I wasn't even thinking about it. I like got ahead of myself right there. And so let's go ahead and use the picker mod and grab our trusty tram road that we've been pretty much using everywhere. And anybody who is not familiar with this build, we have, this is now our sixth, sixth tram station. And this is going to be the biggest one. We do have one, I believe that has, so this one has four. I believe this one over here has five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it does. And so if you're interested in checking out some other tram roads, I'll go ahead and put a link for all my tram station builds in the description so you guys can check them out. And so I think that's good. We're not going to be able to upgrade this middle road because the trams have kind of a hard time figuring out what to do here. I, I'm sure I could go on Steam Workshop and find a four lane that has this large uh, median in the middle, but I haven't really looked. I was just kind of looking at what we had to work with because what I could do is jump into the network multi-tool unlock that segment and then upgrade it. But I think this is going to work out for what we're doing. And so what I do want to do is address some of our needs for this area, but I would like to go ahead and do a tram line down here. Since we're doing a big tram station, I'm going to come down here. I don't really want that to be a bridge piece like that. 
and then we are going to turn. And the idea for this is to just create some more access for this area. This is definitely an underserved area for our city, especially with it being uh, our uptown. It definitely would need to have some transit. And so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and follow this road down, come across our front side so that we can be relatively close to our metro station. And then I'm going to come up here and connect it up. And now what we are going to do is go ahead and jump into our tram lines. Do a line real quick before we forget. So we do have this one line. I'm going to go ahead and move the station back here. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and jump over here. Now, you know, what? we'll um, do the first one just for that down section. So we'll come up over here and we will go like right there. And then we will come up over here. And it looks like we have two bus lines down there when we don't need them. So then now we're going to come up over here and then we will do the same thing right there. And then we're going to stop in the front probably twice. And we're going to turn, come up here, and then we should be able to just loop around. Ooh, it looks like we forgot to look at this one little piece of road just because it's so small. Yeah, there you go. And now I am just going to finish that loop and just connect it up right here. And there we go. Got it all hooked up. And then now what I want to do is do a loop for the downtown section. So we're going to come up right here. And then what we're going to do, we don't need to go down that way. We will come up here and we'll have some double little, little stops in there so that people can transfer. And then we will come down here, do the same thing, some double little stations. And then we will come down here, same thing, come down here. And then we will go straight. And then we will turn up over here. This is really going to be some great access for this area and we will finish it right there. And so now we have three tram lines in here, which is just fantastic. And so now we will come in here and let's go ahead and change those colors. We have so many tram lines now though. We literally, uh, I think we have like 19. Let's see. So we have one red, let's do like a light red. And so let's go ahead and unpause it so that those can run. And then let's look at this transport tower and see what we got going. So if I just jump in and find it, it's gonna be a little bit easier. So transport, hey, here we go. And so we will use this guy and we're gonna come up right here. And then I think we're going to use that underground parking garage, the spiral one. I feel like that just is such a good look and it really fits in well with this. So we're going to go parking garage and put it right there. Yeah, look at that. And it's even in the intersection. So that actually works out perfect. And so we will go ahead and leave that right there. And then let's do some paths now, since this area is really going to need some path access. So we will go like this. Let's go ahead and hook up this side. We're going to go ahead and turn off snapping. We want people to walk as much as possible in this area. So having tons of path access is really going to be beneficial. So we'll come up over here. We're going to connect this one up as well. And I think we're just going to do squares on this one since we uh, kind of did those spirals on the last one. So we'll go like that. We're going to go ahead and connect this one up as well. I'm going to come back through here and fix these as well. So then we will go to our, our crossings. I think we'll get rid of that metal one feel like that's a little too close. Yeah, there you go. I think that actually looks pretty good. And then we will come up over here, grab that, go like that. And then let's go ahead and do one right here as well. And then we will have this one go across, though I don't think we're going to do crossings. And so what we're going to do is just clean up these lines real quick. I kind of want to clean this one up. You can tell that it's just a little bit off. It's not a lot, but it's off enough for you to notice it. And you know what? I actually think that looks pretty good. I think we will connect this one up as well since we kind of have that look up there. Yeah, I actually really like that. I think that looks great. And then we are going to do some zoning on this front side. So we don't have a ton of commercial zoning in here. We have commercial on the front side. And so I feel like this is going to be a great area to do some commercial high density in here. So we're going to, uh, we'll probably leave that one empty for a park. And so we will have this connect up. And then what we're going to do is do some planters and I'm just going to jump into our concrete seating curb that I've been using. If you guys haven't seen it before, it is a white concrete curb that works out really well to do custom planters. And I think it just looks fantastic. And so I'm going to go ahead and get that done real quick. 
Okay, so I went ahead and did some small planters. I hooked up some water as well. And then I did a big park over here. I was kind of looking at the space. I was like, you know, this is would just be a fantastic area. And so now what I want to do is jump into Surface Painter. And we are going to fill in these middle sections all the way around. I think we will end right there, though. And because a lot of times, I mean, with uh, with these areas, it's just a lot of concrete with transit hubs. And so now what I want to do is fill in these sections as well. And what we're going to do is create some nice little walking areas for in here for people to kind of walk through the buildings and, and enjoy the area. So we'll go like that. And then we will go ahead and pick that up too. And I think for the outside, we could do something as well. I think maybe we'll finish our, our offices up here. So we have offices following all the way along our tram road. So I feel like this area right here will be good for offices, especially since it's already um, kind of following that down there. And then we can um, fill these in as offices as well. Yeah, you know what? I feel like that's going to create some nice density in here and kind of clean it up a little bit. Okay, so now what I want to do is go ahead and just create some little shelters for these tram stations. So I'm just going to search up shelter. And yeah, it should be yeah, these ones right here. It's actually super easy. I think I'm just going to do probably two at each just to create a nice little space for people to uh, sit down and kind of wait for their tram or wait for somebody if they're waiting for somebody to get off. I'm not really sure. Looks like that's going to be a little too close. So we're just going to manually place these. We'll go right there and we'll go right there. And then what I'm going to do is jump in to move it, grab these two and then just copy. And the reason we're going to do that is because it is just an easy way to get the same symmetry going all the way down. We may still have to adjust them a little bit, but it's just a really easy way to capture some realism in your area. And then what we'll do is we will jump into some benches and just put some benches underneath this. Just super easy. Nice. And so I got those in there. And so now what I would like to do is do just some little ticket kiosks. I believe we have a, a nice one. So we have these little square ones. These ones actually look really good. And these ones are your standard ones for older tram stations or older, uh, yeah, probably tram or train stations. But I think they look really clean. And then what we're going to do is put in a couple little shops as well so that if somebody's waiting for the train, they can grab a coffee or something. But these would just be really convenient ways for people to grab a ticket. I mean, nowadays they would probably be all updated to be uh, digital. They probably still have the kiosks, though, where you just kind of walk up to them and then um, the machine is there. And so we are going to grab this. We're going to do a couple of these. It looks like this one's a little grill kiosk. So if somebody's waiting for some food or something, they can just uh, grab something to eat. I think we have one right here as well. Oh, it's like a little uh, magazine stand. Yeah, that's great right there. And then what we'll do is we will put one over here as well. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing. And you know what? I think that looks great. I'm just going to go ahead and throw some tables in here real quick. All right. And there we go. I think it looks really good. I went ahead and added in these little trees with the, with the benches. But I do think we need to kind of clean them up a little bit. It looks like that one's a little off as well. I want them to all be kind of in line with each other. You can kind of tell this one's just a little bit high. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these. And I'm just going to hold shift. And make sure I have everything in here and then just drag them down. Nice. And so now there will be a nice area for people to kind of sit down, maybe have something to eat. I really like this area. I think this is just coming together really nicely. And so I'm just going to go ahead and clean up these little in-between spaces real quick. I think I'm going to do a couple awnings with some tables, maybe even create like a little restaurant space real quick. And then we will look at it when I am done. Okay, so I really didn't do too much, but I think it looks really good. I, I went ahead and put in some more of those, those uh, vertical planters. And then I put in some of these smaller ones against the buildings with the benches. I think they look really good. And then I went ahead and put in some awnings on this building with a little fence around it and some, some tables so that we can assume that maybe this Andy's coffee shop, this would be like outdoor seating. It's got a little bit of an awning. Um, it's not a whole lot. I decided to keep the multicolor as maybe that's like the motif that they have. It looks like it's bowling, Andy's bowling. So they probably just got some food outside too or something. Um, but I really like the look of it. I went ahead and created these in here. So like these would just be areas that you could sit down. Maybe you're having lunch, maybe you work in one of these areas or something. And so um, if you guys like this, go ahead and hit that like button. I think this is it. If you're interested in another video of mine, go ahead and check out the video on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next episode.